Just wanted to do a quick channel update. Um, as you guys know that if you guys follow me on IG and um, I was supposed to have my dyno last month in September and um, unfortunately the wrong K24 tensor was used and um, the whole timing chain assembly broke off and um, the difference between the two tensors was the fact that uh, the hole, the pinhole, I guess where the oil flows through to give the uh, tension of pressure for the pin to press on the chain, it was slightly moved uh, with the Z7 K24. So with that little slight adjustment, I don't, would, from my educated guesses, I wasn't getting enough pressure to keep that pin um, from pressing the timing chain, uh, giving it tension. So I think eventually over time, um, the trip was probably like 200, 300 miles away by the time we got to the last hour of the trip the i guess eventually just start i don't know i i don't understand why it didn't mess up in the beginning um of the trip and it waited to the far end and it didn't it got progressively worse uh, as i got closer to the house but anyways lesson learned use the z7 um tensor for the k24 z7 build so I got another dyno tune in a couple days this Thursday, um, picking up the car Wednesday, it's Monday today, and the car's close to being done. I actually added more parts to it. So I was afraid of like when, when I was going to the last dyno, my, my goal was to use the same uh, setup as last time. So I think I'm pushing like 16 pounds boost. Do the same pulley setup, then switch to 9th gen crank pulley, see how much power I could make there. And then hopefully if I wasn't running out of fuel, because I did upgrade the fuel injectors to 1650 cc's. If the fuel pump could take it, then we were going to change to the 9th, 9th gen crank pulley and then change the supercharged pulley to 2.8. I think I have a 3.0 on it right now. However, if that wasn't going to work, if I was running out of fuel, we we're going to switch back to a 3.0. So this time around, I was like, fuck it, right? If I'm at the dyno, I'm tired of going back back and forth on the dyno. Might as well just go all out. So I went with the surge tank with a dual Warlboro. I think it was three, three or 400 pump. I forget. I got to double check. But it was it's two pumps, um, Warlboro pumps in the surge tank. So the fuel system that I have now, the fuel pump is going to feed the surge tank the surge tank. It's a dual, uh, dual fuel pump, and it's gonna feed to my to, to the motor. So this at this point, I'm not gonna run out of fuel unless my injectors start running out of fuel. But uh, the websites and my tuner assured me that 650 cc with the proper fuel tank setup should be good up to 700 wheel horsepower. And I don't think I'll be hitting that. Uh, actually, I know I won't be hitting that um, numbers with my current setup on the 1900. So hopefully maxed out 1900 with the ported head and stuff like that. I'm predicting above 500. I just don't know where, mid 500s, upper 500s. It'll be great to see low 600s, but I, I really don't have an estimate. I'm not really worried about it. I just want the car up and running and um, I just want to enjoy the car. Um, I ha haven't had the car since May and uh, summer's almost done. So I just want to last month or two that I have here to enjoy the car. So whatever I make, I'll be happy with, and we'll optimize it uh, later down the road. So anyways, guys, that's an update. So in a couple of days, hopefully, um, everything's gonna turn out well. Jose, uh, the Merc Racing team is gonna be there, Jose and Nate. Um, Reese's car is Barry. Uh, unfortunately, he cannot be there. Um, he was gonna be there last time, um, but like I said, the car, car didn't run right. So it's just gonna be the Merc Racing team. My dad's gonna be there. I'm not sure if he's going to drive his own car. He has the IS300 uh, with the 2JZ GTE motor swap. And he just switched to the T56 transmission because the OEM transmission is shit. So he wanted um, to up the boost, make more power, and have the transmission be able to hold it. But I think he's just going to be riding with me. So, But we'll see. But the Merc Racing team will be there. My dad will be there. And um, hopefully we have a, you know, a, a progress, not progressive, a productive day and nothing goes wrong. Um, I don't think it will. Never had an issue with this car on uh, dyno day, so um, everything should go well. And um, yeah, that's that's just the update, man. So if you guys want, predict how much horsepower 
and torque you think my car will make. So the PSI level, uh, when I really got into the calculations, uh, like last year, I think with a 9th gen pulley and a 2.8 pulley, the car should be making mid 20 PSI. So I'd say between seven to 10 more PSI than um, I previously had on my setup. So you have to, and I think when I calculated this before, every PSI the car gained, I think it was seven wheel horsepower prior. But I don't remember if this was on 93 or if this was on E85. I think it was on 93, I think, but I don't remember, man. I, I had this all written down. I, I lost the um, lost the sheet. So I think every PSI was about seven horsepower. So if we went by that calculations, right? Let's say we gain another 10 PSI, that's 70 wheel horsepower. 70 wheel horsepower on top of um, what I had previously was 450. So we're looking at 520 um, wheel horsepower. And that's not including, uh, I switched to a bigger throttle body. I did the hybrid cooling setup. So when we did test drive the hybrid cooling setup, my IATs was actually below the outside temperature. We were like three degrees below. So that's gonna help. And the ported heads. So with those factors in, realistically, I'm thinking like maybe mid 500s, um, honestly, like 550. Uh, I'll be, and then we're raising the RPM. So my red line was at 7200. Now um, I'm hoping we could push it to wherever the horsepower starts petering off. But with these motors, hopefully around at 8200 RPM. So we're getting a thousand RPM, ported head, 10 PSI more, bigger throttle body. I'm hoping at least 100 wheel horsepower gain. I think it's going to be more actually. I, I I think it's going to be close to 600. But I'm not really you know, what's the word? Hoping or I'm I'm not trying to like hype myself up and then when I go there and then I get disappointed. So right now I'm just like mellowed out. Um the whole tensioner shit really humbled me and um I'm just gonna be like, hey, it is what it is, whatever I make, it was whatever I make, and we'll just go from there. But anyways, guys, uh, that was just a quick update for you guys. Um, I'm definitely going to the Pocono Raceway on October 10th, I believe. It's uh, Columbus Day weekend for the uh, roll racing. And I'm going to be starting to go into more events. Hopefully, um, before it gets too cold, just meet, meet a lot of my followers, my subscribers, go to these events. Um, honestly, I, I just want to start fucking up um, these high-end, uh, high-horsepower cars or high-end cars, you know, like Hellcats and shit like that. That's my goal. I, I really want to get my name out there and really show the world that the ninth gen platform, man, y'all sleeping on them too too hard. And that's my whole ordeal to prove everybody this ninth gens are, are sick. And, you know, to me, I have not impressed with the 10 gens type R. I haven't seen anything that was like really impressive. But then again, I haven't been really looking. So anyways, guys, that's just a quick update and um, stay tuned. And thank you for all your support. Um, during these last couple weeks, it's been crazy how, you know, how much people actually like follow this build and, um, the amount of support that I got from you guys, it was, it was real, it was real humbling. You know, I really was like, wow, you know, people actually care. And, um, and with my subscriber count, it's still been going up and I haven't even been posted and people still hit me up. Hey, I love your build. And so it, it's been a, it's been a pretty good last couple weeks, even though the motor, um, took a crap and, um. But yeah, guys, anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. I'll be making videos, doing the IG live at the dyno and uh, keep you guys completely updated. All right, till next time, guys.